I'm Lynn Dana, and this is my shop. Not only do we sell this product, but we live this life. You never know what we're going to be doing next or where we're going to be, but we're always having fun. I'm Brom Wilson. I produce this show. I try to get you all the great action shots without getting random. Together we are Ride It TV. This week on Ride It TV, we've got some pretty fun adventures planned for you. Yeah, it's going to be a two-part show. we got right. two great personalities coming out to have fun with us. First, we're heading down to Branson to see Joey Thurman. Joey's an incredible guy. He's done a crazy amount of stuff. He's been an actor, an author. He's a former WCW pro wrestler. He's down at Branson, Missouri with his new show called Tellin' Tales. Yeah, and we're going to take him spider riding down on the strip. Get him out on the... I don't think he's ever rode a spider before. Not many people have. It's going to be a lot of fun. Rom is late again. Yeah. It's about time he shows up. We need to be there an hour. We're here waiting. What That's the heck? That's something to eat. <laughs> now we gotta get on the road. We're riding to Branson. We got the 4500 behind us with the spider on it. The crew's hauling it down there for us. It's going to be a lot of fun hanging out with him tonight on the strip. Man, these guys. Be there at 5 o'clock. Be there at 5 o'clock. We'll be ready to go. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. It's only. It's only 6.55 now, so iron. 55 minutes, I don't guess that's too bad. Maybe they think I'm on Eastern time. I ain't on Eastern time. Everybody else is here, which is me. <laughs> we'll be there at five o'clock, they said. 6.55, nowhere to be seen. You were in a hurry. I'm glad Mom you showed late. up. Be there at five o'clock, they said. <laughs> we'll see you at five, they said. I know, it's all his fault. You I got was a time check? Go. What time is it now? Anybody know? It's about midnight. I do. It's 6 <laughs> 55. That's what time it is. What's up, brother? How, How you doing? You? Good to see you, brother. Hey, we're see on you time. too. This is how we always show up. <laughs> well, now I know. All I have to. Well, at least you come in quiet. We're about two hours late, but we're down here once again. It's all Brahms' fault, but we're at the Bald Knobber Theaters. We got Joey here, and we're getting ready to get out there and have some fun in the Branson Ozark Hills. Joey, I mean, first time on Spider, F3, Branson. How much better does it get? I don't know, man. This is pretty cool. This is going to be my very first time riding a Spider. You know, I used to teach guys how to ride Harleys for the police department, and teach him? and that was cool. Well, he it's not a Harley, help. man, he but you know, I'll, I'll try. Just I can tell you this: as far as passing the test, just don't hit a cone, man. Um, that's, yeah, that's, that's, oh, he's, he's out. <laughs> you just go for him. I thought that was the whole point, knock him over. That's cool. I'm we're glad that you guys came to Branson, man, to hang out. This is going to be a good time. You know, we're here. Uh, we signed a deal to be in the Bald Knobbers Theater here in Branson. It's like the Grand Ole Opry of Branson, you know what yeah. I mean? And uh, we do the Tell and Tales comedy tour here. We're, we're here every day from like, like 2 o'clock. And ours is, is a little different because we're about the only non-music show in Branson, you know? We're a clean southern style storytelling kind of comedy show and um, we're a little different but the crowds are loving it man we're having a good time he deserves it okay what did you do if I coat wrong Laramie is this it? 
He's hitting my coat. He knows me. Prom hid my coat, didn't he? I'll have Joey take you out. <laughs> I can get more riding than this going down there to Walmart and putting a quarter in, riding that little dude. Colt, what you doing? Just start walking. Warmer, 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 colder. Cold, cold, cold. You're horrible at this game. <laughs> warmer, 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 cold. Warm. <laughs> yeah, great, let's go. There's something pretty cool about being down there. You're hanging out with a legend, riding the strip in Branson. You're out there in the element. It's just kind of unreal. Strip, riding spiders, hanging out with Joey and Brom. It was awesome. Got a quick bite to eat. Now Joey's going to take us back to the Bald Knobber Theaters and we're going to get a backstage pass to see what actually happens behind the scenes. This hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, doing all right, Nana? Good to see you. What's going on? Guys, Brandon May. How you doing, man? Lynn. Brom. Nice to meet you. Yeah. This is the guy, his family is, is responsible for the whole town in Branson, Missouri. I'm feeling the truth. Well, yeah, my grandpa started the show at Bald Mummer's first show in town, so pretty cool, yeah. yeah. One of the highlights of the night was getting to hang out with the Mabes. They have the Bald Knobber Theaters here in Branson. It's been on going for almost 57 years. One of the oldest shows out there. Really cool people. Hey man, how are you? It's good to see you guys. Are you guys doing the filming back there in the back? That's, 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 that's your interview. Right? Joey's Tell and Tale story is absolutely hilarious. Just to sit around and listen to the stories that guy's got, it'll keep you there all night. Stop right here. I don't know where you're going, but listen to me. Whatever you do, don't go under the ring. <laughs> I never even slowed down. I just kept right on walking. I said, I already did. Just kept right on walking. Joey used to be a WCW wrestler, so we got to get him to show us some moves, but uh, Brom's not volunteering, and I sure ain't. But we have to get this shot, so if neither of us is going to do it, that only leaves one option. Laramie's got to do it. Some thing you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. We, uh, me and Lynn, have been talking. We'd like you to demonstrate that on our uh, cameraman, Laramie. Where's Laramie? Power slam? Yeah. Laramie. If he's so willing to take camera. it, I'm willing to dish it out. With all the dirty work that Brom and Lynn have me do, sometimes I wonder why I hang around. It doesn't matter what it is, I'm always picking up the short end of the stick. Here's um, what you need to do just to get ready, all right? If you need to go in the bathroom and do it, that's yeah. fine. But you need to dress to the left. You understand what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Laramie. You need to dress. I just, I don't want to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you, but you need to dress on the left side because I'm going to pick you up from the right side. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we need another camera going on this. Yeah, this is really the best day of my life. <laughs> but if you ain't one of them, you might have to, to cough and push hard to get it back. <laughs> All right. So now let me show you how to lock up first. The first thing you got to do when you go to lock up is you want to step forward with your left foot, your other left. There you go. <laughs> Oh, 
think he's dead. Laramie, you all right? Somebody kick him. I've never seen anybody lick like that. He's kind of turning colors. Hmm. Mm. He'll be all right. He'll wake up. Yeah, right. We should probably go get a Coke or something anyway. <laughs> yeah. He'll wake up after a while. Yeah. Getting body slammed by a WCW pro wrestler? Check. Plus one. <laughs> it's not fake. We're walking down to the stage, and Joey's like, hands us some stuff, and he's like, be right back. You guys go ahead and start the tour without us. Joey said he's going to show us around, and he's just making us work. I know. Somehow this wasn't the tour I thought we were going to have. You missed the spot. He's a pretty big guy, so we didn't argue. Why do we put so much effort into engineering the Can-Am Defender? Why do we equip it with tough Rotax engines featuring best-in-class torque? Why do we give it industry-leading towing and hauling capabilities? And why do we make it clever with versatile cargo solutions and much more? Well, why do you put so much effort at everything you do? Because a job worth doing is worth doing right. Can-Am Defender. Tough. Capable. Clever. Life comes with a turn signal. Use it. If you do, the black red carpet is rolled out for you. It's a two-lane therapist, guru, Zen master, but you never really know when you're hermetically sealed in a sedan. It's time to get in the spider lane, built for the open road. More stable than a motorcycle, more open to the life around you, and always open for what's ahead. Open your road. Can-Am Spider. The sea Spark. It's bringing the fun your family has been dreaming of. Easy to own and a thrill to ride. But the biggest rush is realizing you can own one now. The sea Spark, starting at $55.99. If you're looking to play on the road or off the road, or even in the water, Pitbull has you covered. We have a complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs, as well as Can-Am spiders and all the parts and accessories. With industry-leading performance, SeaDoo is the way to go when it comes to water sports. Come in today and see us at Pitbull Power Sports in Springfield, Missouri, 1332 North Glenstone. Come into Pitbull Power Sports. Live the life. Today on Ride It TV, guys, we are taking you to a good friend of ours, Andy Frizzell from Supplement Superstore. He also owns First Form. Him and Chris Kleins are awesome guys. They've got a ranch just outside of St. Louis, and we're headed there with you. Yeah, and we got a little bit of everything loaded up today. We have four-wheelers, commanders, Mavericks, intimidators. Intimidators, we've we're got it all. We're going to have some fun. We have so many, we had to double stack them. So we're going to head out. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to do some barbecuing, some four-wheeling, and a good time. Let's ride it. Andy Frizzell is an awesome guy. Him and Chris Klein started right here in Springfield, Missouri. Their business was known as Supplement Superstore. They launched that. Now they've grown it into multiple stores, and they've also launched First Form. Really cool people. So we're heading to the Frizzelli farm, going down the highway, pretty good clip, and all of a sudden, uh, Lynn pulls off on the shoulder, and I'm like, what is he doing? We're late. I ran out of gas. Why do we always run out of gas? I mean, that's a normal thing that normal people check for when you head out on a trip, but no. We checked for it. We just weren't stopping for it. <laughs> Ran out of gas. We never do this. We got down to about a quarter tank and the low fuel light came on and it just shut off. That's all there was. One mile. I was trying to make it to the, that was our exit. And I knew there was a gas station. I didn't make it. I miscalculated by one mile. Finally got gas back up, got back on the road, made it into Andy's. When you pull in at the Frizzelli farm, you know you're someplace special. We're here at the Frizzelli farm today. Andy Frizzell and Chris Kleins both own a company called First Form and Supplement Superstore. Great guys. When we started Pitbull, they were big supporters of ours, backed us all the way. And Andy called me a few days ago, wanted a couple of new quads for him and his wife. So we did a quick build on them, loaded them up, brought them down, 
and we're hanging out in four wheeling at the Frizzell farm today. Everything Andy does is just impressive. We walk around the corner and he's got this beautiful black duly lifted Chevrolet truck. It's got a twin turbo in it. It's just awesome. And the reason we're paying him a visit today is Andy bought him and his wife a four-wheeler. And of course, everything Andy does is just huge and tricked out. These four-wheelers are top-notch. I'm excited to get out there and play with them, guys. I should get a size of black piece of They never say anything. Two and a half inch lift on the big wheel tires. Yeah, so I came out last weekend and I was like, I couldn't I went to go check out the farm. The baddest of the baddest. My 1,000 that I've always ridden. We've been having a blast so far, visiting, hanging out. We got the machines unloaded outside, so now we're going to go hit the trails with Andy and Emily and have some fun. Let's do it. Like you just got That's the money right. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> there you go. There he is. Oh. We say what? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like being a circus. Doesn't matter who you are and what walk of life you come from, you've got to love power sports. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> of business with Andy and put the past. One of his cool toys we built him before they were even out was we built him a Turbo Maverick. Dude, Andy's got well over 100 acres on his farm. I'm sure there's going to be some stuff that we can get in trouble with and break stuff. ledges and stuff and just pretty much just tearing up Andy's farm. I don't know if they're going to let us come back or not. steep creek bank that just drops straight off and uh, I told Lynn like you need to go off of that. So Brom finds this ledge and he's like drive off of that. I pull up to the edge of it and it's like 15 feet and it can caves back into it. Either way we're gonna do it. So he, he goes up there and just just barely eases off. And 
and just kind of just tumbles down. I'm like, what is that? So apparently, I was too cautious going off it the first time. So now I got to go back and hit it harder because it didn't look cool enough for Braun. That little bank's about 18 feet, pretty vertical. It's a little bit sketchy because the very top of it cups under, so when you go off of it, you never know if it's going to end though, and this is hard rock bottom. But uh, we did it twice, and we survived, so, so far, let's ride it again. day hanging out with Andy Frizzell. The Frizzelli farm is first class. Everything's top notch. A great place to go hang out and play. That's it for this time with us with Ride It TV. We're heading to Vegas and we're out of here. <laughs> See, it's Brom's fault. He didn't even he didn't even deny it. <laughs> Quick to throw you under the bus, man. <laughs> bus, train, steamroller, whatever I can find. <laughs> The beans and the frank need to be on the left side. Wait, your left or his, his left? His left, not my left. left, his left. Because the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to come in and get you like this, and I'm going to pick you up from right there, all right? So you, you see what I'm saying? You need to be over on that side. We just made it down here. We're a little late. It's all Brahms' fault. Hey, can we're you get off the hood? I need to get something out of here. Down here now, Paul Nobbers Theater, getting ready to have a glass. Hey, can you get off the hood? I need to get something. Oh, uh, never mind. It's not in there. You can have a seat. I can see Sorry he's going to fit right in with this crew. Mm -hmm. Finally made it down here. Ron Gossett. Come here. Here, can you move? It does have signatures underneath the hood. Holy crap, man. That's all. Who is it? Visit TellandTalesTour.com for more information. Your tour of the Mac Mansion. So I will show you the exit. You don't have to go home. You have to get the hell out of here. <laughs> so thank you so much.